I can't believe I even have to make this video right now. And it kind of hurts my heart. I had to make a script for this video because it was hard for me to put my own words into a form that could be reciprocated for the camera. Recently there's been a lot of traumatic events that have occurred right next to me. Keep in mind that I attend a university who assures the safety of every single student that attends. A month ago, a tragic event occurred just right outside my building, a couple blocks away. A young female, a young woman, passed away at a party. There was a shooting and she was shot and pronounced dead and there was three other people who were shot at the party as well. Her name was Tina Delva. God rest her soul. But this is just the beginning of the bad news. Just the beginning of what was to occur around me. After this event, there was a group of people who were jumped, a group of ISU students who were jumped. One may or may not live in this building. The only reason I know is because I saw the damage dealt to one of the victims and asked about it. They were jumped by a large group of people and a lot of his friends, including himself, were hurt, injured, and robbed. After that, there was a crash involving a young woman who got hit so hard that she had to be hospitalized for internal bleeding. And now, most recently, just today, there was a shooting inside my place of residence. The place I lay my head. The place that I'm supposed to consider safe. And again, the shooter was not apprehended. This is twice now that there has been an active shooter situation here on campus or next to campus that the police have failed to catch the shooter. Now the reason I'm making this video is for all the people who have been harmed and forgotten. I'm here. And if no one else will tell their stories, I will. And I will make an updated video when we get more information about the shooting that has occurred here. I'm making this video because I'm singling out our beloved president, Dr. Curtis. And I'm saying that a mass email does not help. Holding one vigil does not help. These are real people who have passed away. And there are real families and friends who are hurting and mourning their loved ones to the point that they lose focus as to why they're here on campus for classes and for grades. This semester is already hard enough with COVID and there's a police officer currently flying down my alleyway as I speak right now. But the only reason why we're here is for college and to get good grades to eventually get a good job. And when we lose focus for traumatic events like events like this, you know what the school does at the end of the at the end of the year when we get bad grades? They kick us out. Or they put us on academic probation. There's no sympathy from this college. There's no sympathy from our president. No one cares about the students. They say they do, they say we're their number one priority, but I see it over and over and over again. I personally was almost the victim of this same issue. And the fact that our president thought an email, a vigil, and one free counseling appointment was enough for those who knew and loved 
those who have passed away in this two month span is ridiculous. There should be more. There has to be more. And as for the place that I live, as for Highland, there's been no email, no text, no door to door, nothing. I had to find out that there was a shooting in the place that I live by our school. I haven't heard one thing from them. There's something seriously wrong with a company that has a tragic shooting in their business, which is a business to house students, young students, and they don't have any comment on the situation at all. How am I supposed to feel safe? How am I supposed to feel encouraged to continue to live here and to continue to go to school here and to continue to get good grades? When the very place that I go to sleep at night has continued to prove itself unsafe. The other reason I'm making this video, other than calling out our president, other than calling out the place that I live and saying that it's not enough. I'm making this video for all of those who are disconnected, shocked, scared, have decided to drop out of college, or any other emotions you may be feeling. If you need to talk, please don't be afraid to talk to me. I will link all my social medias down below. Feel free to message me anytime you want. Don't be afraid to message me. We're in this together. And for all my friends and all my family watching this, and for my people at ISU, we live in a place where we can't expect the one group of people who are sworn to protect us to do their job. It's time we figure out an appropriate plan how to stop any of these events from continuing and furthermore happening. So please, if you go to ISU, if you have a sibling, a friend, a family member that goes to ISU, if you live here and you're in the same situation as me, please share this video. Please let other people know what are going on because there's bound to be other people that are having the same emotional reaction as I am. I don't know about everybody else, but for me personally, this may be the last straw. This may be what makes me break my lease, leave Highland. It makes me leave ISU. The fact that every day is unsafe now. That's my... That's my family asking me if I'm okay. I gotta go.